Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of online examination system. And in this project I am going to sh uh, add some view model and after that we have to uh, create a new layer uh, for the BLL you can say. So the uh, attend exam view model in which uh, we can take some uh, properties and the methods and the convert view model also. So uh, you know that uh, taking some times for the project for this project but it's pro it project is a nice project uh, for the uh, for your uh, study purpose also and also you can take uh, that project will be used for your uh, uh, commercial purpose also because that project will help you uh, some uh, logic queries and how to design the patterns also so uh, what the basic uh, thing behind the online examination system is the equation pattern and the equation pattern also saved with the student id and uh, admin can check uh, the student id and their marks also and automatically generated the uh, result of the students so the basic thing behind the uh, online examination system that is so after uh, attend exam view model you have to uh, design a login view model in the login uh, login view model you have to say that name username and the password uh, is given and the integer role id also so in the view model also uh, all uh, you can uh, use required validations uh, only uh, instead of uh, display property so another class name is a student checkbox list and you know that student checkbox list view model uh, uh, if if you have a checkbox list view model uh, must use a uh, three property that is a text value and ID property and also a uh, one more property that is selected so the student checkbox list view model uh, you have to say that that is the string name and boolean is selected and id property okay so that is the checkbox and the name is the checkbox name and id property okay and the next one is the result view model so and any other project you have to design on this uh, project uh, on this uh, pattern uh, you will work uh, in a company you can say so uh, public class result view model integer student id uh, exam name and uh, total query, uh, total questions in the result view model student id is there exam name is there total question is there and integer correct answer total number of correct answer you can say and in uh, the wrong answer also uh, add in the result view model and uh, the next one is uh, just I want to show that a uh, number of um, pagings so just you have to add page result of T class where T is the class you can say so where T is the class and uh, in the page result you have take some properties like uh, integer uh, list of total number of pages so uh, here we have uh, student and uh, you can say uh, any other paging will uh, will be rendering so t data integer total total uh, so total items is there and uh, the next one property is page number and the next one property is page size okay so that is the page result so uh, the next class I have to design that is the roles and the roles is actually uh, a enum enumeration type so just you can use public enum and the and that the enum role view model so that is the enum roles okay so the next one is the roles of the project that is the student teacher and admin 
so admin is one position and teacher is second position and the student is on the third positions so just save this so here we have two uh, project is cleared and the next one is the service layer project where I will design the services for the project and use the view models and also uh, the unit of work class so the next one is the BLL layer that is the business logic link layer so online examination system dot BLL that is the business logic layer okay so in that project we have a, a new folder you can say uh, services and the class one is deleted from that project so in the services folder you can take some uh, interfaces and the classes so the first uh, interface is account related so I account services so I account service uh, interface and make it public first of all and after that you have to add some uh, methods in the project and also you have to add a data uh, link layer uh, sorry uh, a view model projects so login view model first of all and add some methods at here so in the para as a parameter you have to also pass the login view model and login view model uh, return a login view model type okay and the next property is bool i mean to say that uh, add teacher is successfully uh, added then return true otherwise return false so in which add a teacher you can pass a user view model okay so the next one is the page result and the, in the page result you have to pass a user view model and get all teachers and integer page number page size also mentioned integer page size okay so there is the get all teachers that is the i account service and on the basis of i account service you have to implement uh, your class and the class name is account service must to follow the naming convention in the asp.net core so public class account service and uh, implemented from i account service and here we have three unimplemented method is there add teacher get all teachers as uh, as well as login okay so uh, you can use i unit of work first of all so uh, create a variable for the i unit of work uh, interface that is i unit of work is actually exist in the uh, data access layer so actually data access layer is used uh, that project okay so after that you have to use uh, account service okay so actually account service is used a uh, lots of things from the students related so just add a new interface in the library that is the i student service and i student service uh, add some methods in the i students uh, service interface and there is the first method is related to the index uh, um, you can say paging so page result student view model will be passed and get all students I want to say and in which you can pass the page number as well as the page size okay so that thing is pretty simple you can do in the uh, just before few minutes so page result is actually hold class and uh, I account service we have a user view model and here you can use I account service uh, I student service so you can use student view model so task if you want to add a new student then you can use task of type student view model and add a sync type student view model VM and uh, that is a uh, lots of operation you will be applied um, for the students like uh, I enumerable type of students also so that actually student is not there students is there so students and in the data access layer and get all just I want to student get all students okay so a list of student will be there so I enumerable of type to students okay the next thing is 
set group id to student just i want to set that uh, assign a class to the student so that uh, that is the boolean type if is assigned if it is not assigned so group view model is there group view model i mean to say that is linked with the class so group view model and vm assigned to the that class okay so the next one is the boolean type set exam result attend exam result view model and the basis of the student will be attend the exam so attend exam view model and the method name is set exam result after that result view model will be uh, used so get exam results uh, integer student id on the basis of you can get a student id okay so the next thing is student view model and after uh, the whole project will be uh, done uh, i will uh, do the reverse engineering on the basis of the ui first of all i will pick the ui and after that you will pick the services and I've, after that we have to pick the view models and after that we have to pick uh, last that is the unit of work that is the data access layer so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to online examination.